unpredictability. And TLPH is known for that as they burst down the Lord. Plus, look at the look at Kelra. Two birds with one stone. I, I mean, and even forcing the Tempest of Blades, Kelra has to walk away here because Pedicuity coming in. 2v1. Look at the lack and pass, 2v1. But look, pop the Purify. He's going up against more. But here, here comes King Kong. Picks up the first kill. Still alive. JP goes in with the implosion. Kelra is still alive, but he's going to be brought down. That's a two for one. That's a trade I'll take any day. Twice on Friday the 13th. Kelra for a Lord. A turret and Benny and Zyda. Okay, now he's gonna go to lock him down, but Dyer is able to find the Earth Shatter now. As that's a great ammo, Benny Kyrie gonna be locked down. Still able to go with the Lycan bounce, getting Dyer out. Skyler, Zaman Force used up, going back and forth out to Kyrie, but he still has a Lycan form. Kyrie looking for revenge to what Sutsujin did to them. Looking for one more, that is a maniac. 1v1. Damage, but looks like CW, if he wants to, can go for a play. Oh, way to drag him with the Chaos used up. No immortality for Edoc. Does he get away? The Eternal Guard actually not timed well, but Kyrie gets a like and bounce Skyler. Perfect Purify out of the Avatar right now. Siren pops into Primal Rabbit and will lose his immortality. So to Jin dealing with Keyboy, he needs to go for the back line. Will go on the Kyrie and now. The top of the blades, Kyrie buys the immortality in time. Rez does the same thing. Sun Sunjin! Going for everyone. Finch poising out the Skyler. Escapes too. Sun Sunjin waiting in that bush. Sans.